Welcome in to our game seven of the Miffley League. We got Austin Adams here from Keep Pounding. He's replacing Jordan today. Jo I mean, excuse me, Austin, I about said Jordan, your brother. But Austin, what's it going to take to win today? Uh, we keep the defense up like we had last game. We should, we should be all right. Pitching was real solid. Uh, JB did a heck of a job first game. And uh, if we keep it up like that, we'll be all right. First time seeing the Young Bloods. Uh, it's a new team as, as well, just like y'all. Um, what are you expecting out of them today? I mean, they got talent, man. I mean, it's not going to be an easy an easy game by any means, but I mean, we're looking forward to it, man. It's, uh, it's going to be a challenge. We like it. Right, that's also now. Holden, we're still searching for that first win. Is it going to come today? Um, it very could come today. Um, we're going to try to work hard, and get hits, and score runs, and that's going to be the way we can get it. Just like yesterday, win was a big factor in that game. It's going to be a factor today, not as much. But the ball is going to be carrying today. You need to keep that ball down. Is that going to be a big thing in your mind today? We need to get on top of it when we swing and uh, just keep it in play and watch for foul balls. Don't get a count up, but uh, just try to hit it over. Is there a cold? All right, that's Holden Wise. we got game seven of the Miffley League, Young Bloods versus Keep Pounding. We'll come with YouTube highlights later, and uh, let's go ahead and get started.
my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, post game here, final score was 27 to 20. Keep pounding on top, but what a game, Jake. I mean, it was back and forth, and they went up a lot in the last inning, and then they went up in the last last inning, and then Jake, y'all came back, had a little comeback in the last inning. You also had a really good performance at the plate and a little bit on the mound. What do you have to say about your team's uh, performance today? Um, I, f I feel like once we get to know each other better and we start playing more games and stuff, we'll, we'll figure things out. The pitching, it's going to come. Like I said, we had a windy day today. So, I mean, it was tough to pitch anyway, so we'll figure it out. I mean, three losses on the year, but you still have six games left in the year, so there's plenty of time to make up. Y'all did look really good today. Y'all went head-to-head -head with the second-place team in the league. That's a really good positive to come out of today. Is there any more positives do you have? Um, I think our hitting was really well. If we keep hitting like that all year, then and we figure out the other things, then we'll be just fine. Ryan went three for three. He had seven RBIs. Of course, got on base every single time, a couple walks here and there. Ryan, what do you have to say about your performance today? I was just seeing it good um, from both sides. Big turnaround from last week. I uh, struggled last week. So I just come out, seen the ball good, hit the ball good. And we had some little adversity today going back and forth a little bit. Uh, the pitching, of course, the wind, a lot of elements going into this game. But how, how well do you think your team handled that? Uh, we did the best we could. Um, it's tough. Anytime the wind's up, it's pitching's hard. Uh, we, uh, JB, he started, he threw really well, and we scored enough to win. I mean, we did, like I said, we did our best. All right, that's Ryan Barefoot. We are live here. We're going to have YouTube highlights later. If you're watching on YouTube now, thank you for subscribing. We want you to go ahead and subscribe or get your friends to subscribe. And uh, final score is 27-20. Keep pounding. They're going to move up to second place in the league, which I think they were already there. They still got an uh, ultimate test with six and a half guys looming. So uh, big game's coming up. Uh, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. What is up to our fans? It's me again. You give us a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, follow our social media down below. It's also in the description. Also, a big announcement. On June 29th is our All-Star Day. This year we will be welcoming, welcoming a team from Florida. Nixon Farms Wiffle will go against the Mithley League All-Star on June 29th. And lastly, a lot of you guys have been asking if we have any tournaments this year. Yes, we do. Later this August, date to be announced. We'll, show our, we'll uh, update you soon on our Instagram or Facebook page. But date to be announced in August, we will be having a five to seven man tournament. Uh, our teams from the Mithy League will be there. We also want to see other teams there. Let's compete, let's have fun, and uh, date's to be announced. So let's hope to see you there. But for now, we're signing off from Mithy Field. We'll see you later.